Welcome back to the Community Review on Hot 92.3. I'm Josefa Salinas, your host. It is such my pleasure right now to have in the studio with me some friends returning. I don't know if you remember them from last year. I know we've got a lot of people that have been with me for years, so you'll you'll be familiar with these people. But if you just joined and you're just a beginning fan of the Community Review, you're going to want to know all about this incredible program that Ford Motor Company puts on. It's called the People's Fleet, and it returns to Los Angeles with the backing of the Ford Motor Company. Company. And the guys who brought it to us initially, they're the uh, the think tank, so I like to call them. So creative is a great way to describe them, but it's also the name of the company. With us today, Ian Elliott from So Creative and Jonathan Kerwin, who is the community strategist at So Creative. Also with us, Rechina from A Better LA, who is a recipient and part of their new program. Ian, Jonathan, welcome back, guys. Thanks, Asafa. We're really excited to be here. Okay, Ian, talk to me. Let's explain to the group what is the People's Fleet and how did So Creative come up with this So Creative idea? <laughs> well, simply, the People's Fleet is a collection of Ford Focus vehicles Um it is a team of filmmakers that is working to capture the story of the nonprofits we're partnering with. It is a um, empowerment grant at the end of the program that Ford will be giving to each of the organizations if they complete the project. And really, it's just an opportunity to come alongside some excellent organizations here in L.A. that are working to advance the community um, and just participate in the work that they're doing. Let's take a minute and break it down for everyone exactly what these organizations are getting because I know we, we kind of briefly touched on it, but let's let's talk about it. They get a car. Um, each organization is going to get a Ford Focus, um, 2012, right of the lot, very cool, my Ford Touch, all that jazz. Um, they get a gas card, which nice. will supply their gas needs for the entire for the entire program. Um, if they do run out of gas, they of course um, can have the opportunity to present a need for more gas, and um, they get a team of filmmakers, which will follow them um, during specific periods of time that we have programmed or we have coordinated with them because we, of course, don't want to interrupt the great work that they're, that they're doing. We want to really kind of, we want to come alongside them in a seamless way. Um, so these, these these filmmakers will come alongside these organizations um, in scheduled periods of time to capture uh, some of the projects that they're working on. A Better LA, for example, we were able to actually go and, um, and film one of the... Uh, one of the gatherings that they have, which brings the LAPD, local sheriff, ex-gang members, and um, community or very true local heroes um, that they work with together to discuss what's going on, uh, for example, in West Athens or Westmont. And we'll then take that content, weave it into a webisode, which will then broadcast across Ford's network, our network, um, the organization's network, and really whoever's willing to help us share the story. Um, so that A Better LA, Pab Love, all the organizations involved, Stoked LA, Keep Abreast can get their story out there. Um, another asset that we have is the Ford Transit because we realize that you know, some, of the, some of the organizations may need to carry a ton of stuff. Who knows? Um, they're producing an event or they have a large group of people that they just need to bring around the city. This Ford Transit will be able to take care of that. Um, my favorite vehicle within the Ford fleet. Just going to throw it out there. <laughs> How many people does the Ford Transit hold? The uh, the Transit Connect can hold anywhere from six to eight people, two bench seats in the back. Very, very cool vehicle. Um, and then we'll also be producing these community or community gathering events. Um, there will be one for each organization. And the event is dedicated to announcing what they're doing to um, to the Los Angeles community in a way that everybody can come and interact with watch a film, um, listen to a speaker, and really just kind of get to know what they're doing. Um, and then lastly, one of the things that the program has is called the Project Car. And the Project Car is for all the organizations that weren't selected for this main period of time but still have a great need for a vehicle, um, they'll be able to use this Project Car for a one-month period of time after the program ends in September to basically um just further them, their needs at yeah, that time huh? just yeah. get them around la right um and so you can apply for the project car at the people um and it will begin in september and you'll have a ford focus for a one month period of time um, as well as a gas card and a network to help share their story now the whole thing started around june 15th and when does it end 
Um, it's going to culminate in September 16th, where we will actually have um, one last event. And this event will be open to the public. Whoever wants to come and attend, um, it'll really just be to um, kind of celebrate the organizations, the work that they've done in L.A., and get everybody involved in um, just a really good time. And, yeah. and supporting the nonprofit community here in L.A. Well, you make sure that you let us know all about that final event so that we can let the whole world know <laughs> so that they can come out and really support this incredible work that you're doing. Great. Okay, so let's talk about how you came about finding. Now, how many organizations did you actually choose? We chose four. Four organizations. Now, how did you go about choosing those organizations this year? Well, we put out a kind of um, put out a broadcast across different social media channels, um, various different, uh, I guess, outlets in Los Angeles, and we opened it up to as many, or we opened it up to every single nonprofit here in LA. Um, and we did this because Ford and, and we, we understand that a lot of, um, these organizations are under-resourced, um, primarily in, in the, the realm of transportation and also, excuse me, um, also in just their, their ability to get, um, to get their message out and to invite a broader audience into participating in what they're doing. Um, and so... We just announced that the People's Fleet has come back to LA. Um, we went through we went through channels like Facebook, Twitter, um, various local local uh, local outlets like the LAist, just to get it specifically to the LA community. Very good. Okay, so Jonathan, as a community strategist, tell me how what your philosophy is on why this program is so needed. And how it works and how it benefits the nonprofits that are involved. Well, this program is so needed, like Ian said, is um, that it gives an opportunity to broadcast the message of these nonprofits to a wider community. And that is something that they, they need help doing. Community involvement is really important on a number of levels, um, from organizations like yourself to the Ford Motor Company. Why did Ford Motor Company decide that being involved in the community in L.A. was such a great thing? Um, specifically in Los Angeles, there's over 1,100 nonprofits. And here's the interesting thing. The, the need across the country um, does not differ. Um, the market in Los Angeles, in terms of the need of a vehicle, is very interesting. So nonprofits will have similar needs. They're under-resourced. Uh, they're lacking. They're lacking funds. They're lacking human resources. They're lacking broadcasting channels. They're lacking. They're lacking extra networks. And so, the reason that we targeted Los Angeles is because of how horizontally integrated the city is. You can go east to west, and it'll, t- excuse me, it'll take you, you know, an hour. Just to get to the just to get to the west side, if you're coming from downtown LA. Yeah, and our public transportation is like we can't even say we have public transportation. It's such a joke. It could use a little work. Yeah, definitely could use a little. So work. So you need a car in LA, and you need a vehicle. Yeah. Um, and Ford understood that when we presented the, when we presented the idea to them. Um, you know, they wanted to bring it to a city first that really could utilize, or to a city with nonprofits that could really utilize a vehicle. Um, and use this vehicle to just traverse east, west, north, south, um, really just to, to get what they needed to do done. Um, and Retchen will be able to explain how they're using it in a better LA pretty soon, but we've, we've found it to be pretty effective and, and really cool. Very good. So let's talk about what happens once they've been chosen. They've mm-hmm. gone through the selection process. They've saw, they saw your media outreach and they applied and you chose the four groups what happens for them at that point this is this is the best part um specifically because all the organizations that did apply had a very real need for the resources that we offered and once we once we brought them on board and and we awarded them with um with the suite of tools they're now they're now able to basically it's very simple they continue to do what they're doing um, it just so happens that they now have a vehicle to um, to move around LA. They now have a gas card to fill their tanks, so it doesn't hit their bottom line, which is awesome. Um, they now have a team of filmmakers that is creating episodic content, which we release on the PeopleSuite.com weekly to share their story. Um, the the webisodes are kind of our favorite part in that they provide a window into what they're doing, and then hopefully they also allow everyone else across the country to. Just see these see these Gen Wires 
walking down a different path, following their passions, and really doing incredible work. Um, and then the um, kind of the crux of the program, this, this go around, one of the things we learned from last year is that they're working on a specific project. And so one of the requirements to come on board was, what are you guys doing? How could you really use a vehicle and how can we help facilitate the project that you're working on? And so um, these projects that, and um, Retchen will be able to explain explain her project in, in a little bit, but um, these projects are something that we're following and we're helping to facilitate through the peoplesfleet.com by broadcasting tasks that they need. For example, a contribution task um, with a better LA to produce a back to school event at the end of the year would be asking the People's Fleet audience, Ford's audience, the LA community to donate school supplies like a backpack or notebook. Um, and over the course of the three months, we'll be documenting that project and we'll be helping to facilitate the execution of it. Very good. So the four participating organizations that were selected to join the People's Fleet for 2011 are PAB Love, which is an organization dedicated to the daily fight against childhood cancer, Keep a Breast, dedicated to eradicating breast cancer by exposing young people to methods of prevention, early detection, and support. A Better LA, focused on mobilizing the knowledge and skills of the Los Angeles com- community to inspire everyone to dream, work, and play without fear. Stoked LA, committed to empowering youth from underserved communities to achieve a more successful future by providing programs based in the actions of the sports culture. So with us today as a representative of one of these organizations is A Better L.A. So talk to us about A Better L.A., what they're all about. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. We're so excited to be here. A Better L.A. is a nonprofit in Los Angeles that works to transform Los Angeles's most troubled communities from within. So what that means is we partner with community members and um, oftentimes these community members are ex-gang members and we help boost them up, we train them, we fund them, and we give them jobs to go out into the streets, keep the streets safe, mentor kids, and bring everyone together around one common vision of transforming communities. So how is the People's Fleet going to benefit you in doing this? Well, it's already benefited us greatly. You know, um, first of all, we're so honored to have been one of the four groups chosen. I know it was a difficult decision because there are, like the guy said, so many groups in L.A. that are deserving. And for A Better L.A., a lot of, you know, we work with a number of intervention workers all across Los Angeles. And as we've already mentioned, transportation is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. And these, you know, guys and women work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if there's a crisis in school, or across town and they need to get there, a lot of them don't have access to reliable transportation. So by having you know the Ford vehicle, we can provide that on some small scale, but it has a huge, huge impact. And then also, you know, at A Better LA, one of the things that we struggle with, like most small to midnight not mid-sized nonprofits is the ability to tell your story. And for us, the People's Fleet helps us tell our story to a broader audience and helps us reach people that we wouldn't normally be able to reach. And that's a huge, huge thing for us because um, like the guys mentioned, you know, we have a back to school event that we're doing. And for, you know, a for a better LA to be able to throw a successful event, we need the community's help. And through People's Fleet, we're getting that help. Now, when you see your webisodes, how does it make you feel to see yourself up on the internet for the whole world to see what you're doing? It terrifies me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm terrified now, but uh-huh. um, you know, I I try to put that aside because I know that it's for a bigger cause. And so, as I'm doing it, I'm just thinking about the kids in the community that I'm hoping this will help. Now, have you seen any immediate benefits? Yes, we have. Um, you know, so part of the program or the project is that people can go to thepeoplesleet.com and they can check out all of the nonprofits and a better LA. And so we've seen a lot of people go to, you know, uh, the website and from there they go to our web- website or our Facebook page or tweet about us. And so we've seen a huge increase in, you know, traffic to a better LA and uh, people have seen us and have called us. And so it's been it's been really great. Very good. Now, Jonathan, where would you like to see this project go and how would you like to see the community involvement grow? One of the goals of the People Suite is to bring the online community offline together to collaborate and to learn about each other and to learn about the different organizations. Um, So one of the things that we have planned this summer is um, four community gatherings. And each of these gatherings are going to be dedicated to one of the nonprofits that that have been chosen. 
Um, and the goal of each of these community gatherings is, like I said, to bring the online community mm-hmm. offline to be able to, you know, actually meet the people that work at these amazing organizations mm-hmm. and um, hopefully collaborate, you know, in the future. Because yeah, we're, I think we're seeing a, a huge resurgence. And we, we mentioned this lightly last year that there are a lot more people with a desire to give back, mm-hmm. to volunteer. And sometimes people are just looking for somewhere to, to come and give back because there, you know, aren't a lot of, well, there's more now that where you can go and find some things to do where before it was very difficult to find something to give back unless, unless it was like the Red Cross or the Salvation Army. Mm-hmm. Now there's so many options. Mm-hmm. And you bringing these organizations to the forefront through this type of program gives people an opportunity, even after the 13 weeks is over, to keep being involved with the organization. Just to add to that, Joseva, one of the cool things is that there are so many opportunities. It's, it's heavily saturated now. But if you're able to provide a level of transparency, which is what we're trying to do with the People's Fleet, through the community gatherings and the webisodes, um, people are able to know what they're actually getting involved with and they can see their efforts make very real change, whether it be incremental or exponential, they're, they're, they're able to see their efforts make real change. Um, and so that's something that we're, we're definitely striving to do through the People's Fleet. Well, that's amazing. And I hope that Ford sees uh, all the progress that's made this year and decides that they're going to come back again next year and keep this going and keep this going and keep this going because it is an amazing thing. I look forward to putting the link up on my web page so that people can come and see the webisodes and see your organization <laughs> there, Better LA, and um, support and see the, all the different ways that they can become involved and make sure that you um, make sure you send me a link of the four community events that you're going to have so that we can broadcast them and get a nice PSA running, letting people know when to come out to those because maybe they're, they're not, you know, maybe they only have a computer at work and they can't go mm-hmm. online and look at something, but they might want to come out and support at a community event. So we would love to continue to do our part to support your efforts and support the organizations that you support by helping the People's Fleet make sure that everybody knows where to come and support the fleet. Josefa, you rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, continued success to you. Thank um, you. Retina from A Better LA, Ian Elliott, So Creative, and Jonathan Kerwin, Community Strategist at So Creative. I absolutely love the organization and will do everything that I can to continue to support it. And, you know, my microphone is your microphone, whatever we can do to support you and the People's Fleet. Um, Please let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, it's the Bill Pickett Rodeo. Oh, yeah. The next generation of black cowboys and cowgirls are in town. We're going to let you talk with the uh, founder of the Bill Pickett Rodeo and find out when they're coming and what it's all about. We'll also talk with one of the psychics to the stars about how he feels about his gift and a whole lot more. Coming up next on the Community Review, Hot 92.3. Stay close.